The GRIO Youth Program provides a wide range of after-school activities for disadvantaged youth in Clarksdale. Founded by Cahoma County native Callie Nolan, the program offers classes and workshops geared towards helping kids find means of expression through the arts. GRIO Youth Program was started about four years ago and um, it was after I moved back to Clarksdale. Um, after college, I I uh, was really excited about doing something to help my hometown that I grew up in and just realizing a lot of need that was here. Um, we decided to start an after school arts program and so um, it is a nonprofit that um, brings in uh, high school and middle school kids Monday through Thursday and uh, we offer tutoring and Bible study and um, then after that the kids get to do all different kinds of arts classes. We have dance, um, uh, music, theater, uh, even culinary arts and visual arts and um, they really get to express themselves and the idea behind having the after school arts program is that you know maybe for some students who are really struggling um, maybe with home life or at school that it would be an outlet for them to express themselves in a different way and really experience maybe some healing uh, through the arts. And I heard Markel last week using to persevere and perseverance. And I heard maybe one other person use the word of the week, so I really want to challenge you guys to use it. And we've been talking the program is maintained by a group of volunteers and a small staff who provide tutoring and mentoring for the kids at their facility on Sunflower Avenue. Our goals are really to, to catch those kids that aren't already involved in something else and help them find what art form they're really passionate about and get hooked into it and um, get passionate about doing it and build up their skills so they can start to be able to express their art form and also to help them as students and as people. Well, the most rewarding thing about it is to me is the children that are involved. They, they have a willingness to involve, they are here every day, they participate, you know, they're relaxed. And, you know, I just kind of like that. It, it's, it's, it's a different kind of culture, I can say. Just making them aware of things like the recycling program, they have no idea. Uh, what that was about uh, and how recycling helps the community. Um, our town hall meetings um, uh, actually do discuss that um, and um, we've had a number of good ideas come up uh, about how to um, spread the, the information uh, to uh, maybe some in the community who wouldn't ordinarily um, read the paper or see the flyers. My name is Josue Atabalencha. You know, as GRIO is kind of growing up and expanding, you know, we have things like job training programs that are going on, which are doing the same thing, helping, helping young people find and, or not find, but locate their place in the community and the wider world. GRIO is looking forward to new events and programs, and if you would like more information about enrollment in the program, visit their website at www.griotarts.com.